Hi there Cancer, I'm Jennifer Angel. This is my overview reading for you for the month of February. So Mars and Venus are both going to move into your career zone just past mid-month during February. And the energy of these two dynamic planets, particularly as they come together in a conjunction on the 22nd, are really going to get things going around business for you. It's like if, if it's things have been it like you felt like they've been whole on hold or you've been moving like two sets forward one back or two back and one forward and then that's all about to change so this is like quite a dynamic connection with these two together so it's really going to put like a you know, a bullet behind and get things sort of going and not before time either, okay? All right, so love can come knocking on your heart too this month. Um, if we've got Pluto, of course, right opposite you and there's a few aspects with uh, Pluto uh, during the month. Let's have a look there. On the 8th, we've got um, Mercury in a sextile. So be careful that you don't get too analytical about love. Remember that, that you know, or someone or, what's, or a situation that's happening in your life. Remember that Mercury is still retrograde right through to the 12th. And then it's in the storm period, so we're not really clear of it, um, you know, for a, a, a good week after that. But, you know, give it till about the 15th if you try to make some decisions. And then it will at least that main disruptive storm period will be uh, pretty well out of the way. Uh, not totally, but I would, I would start to get some clarity about that time. Um, all right, so if you're traveling, then you want to pack your best wardrobe as well. So, um, you know, we do have with uh, a couple of aspects there with um, Saturn as well. And that's right there in your day-to-day -day activity. So you want to think through, be a little bit more methodical about your travel arrangements. A uh, lot of activity there in the solar ninth house, all to do with uh, travel. And you just never know, early in the month, up until the 19th and the 20th, Venus and Mars are in this area, the sun moves in on the 18th, and uh, Neptune's there. So you want to look your very best, okay? <laughs> and uh, you just never know what can happen or who you can bump into or be introduced to. Um, now, the full moon on the third of the month can give your bank account a little bit of a shake-up. It's in your solar second house. Uh, but on the 18th, with the new moon, it's almost like any changes that happen at the start of the month can come forward and be replenished and, uh, you know, opportunities that are better for you financially will come through later in the month. So it seems to sort of balance out. So this month, it's almost like life is going to have, um, you know, a have a momentum all by itself and there's not much you're going to be able to do about it so just take one day at a time okay love and luck to you have a fabulous month thanks for watching